I moved here like in the 92, 93. The garden was here, yes. Okay. <laughs> but it wasn't, it was small, you know, Miss McClary had it. It was small and she was trying to get it started and stuff. But Cheryl's been here the longest of any of us and she's watched since the 90s, you know, this block evolve and and change and the garden's been a center point though the whole time. At first I didn't want to get involved but Millie pulled me in. <laughs> <laughs> well it's a good thing she did. She did. Uh, and I and I kept her. <laughs> yes. My right arm. My left arm. <laughs> I think Cheryl and my story have have gone parallel so we talk for each other we start talking about these things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I got involved in the garden. I think it's been about ten years, Cheryl. Uh, it's been, yeah, it's I, been ten years. It's been long. I think so. I was wanting yes. to figure out how I could meet neighbors and how I could get more involved. And mm. I met the, some of the folks from the Block Association at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I wanted to know, you know, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, what's going on on the block? And then uh, I met Millie in the garden, and she and I became fast friends in the garden. She, she it's yes. the friendship garden for a reason, right? Yes. So, <laughs> the friendship garden is where I met Millie, uh, and she taught me everything about Miss Lucille McClary, who uh, started yes. the garden over 30 years ago now. Uh, yes. And she taught me the history of the garden and how important it was to keep that history and the memory of Miss Miss McClary. Cheryl remembers Miss McClary, I bet. We started yes, the Block I Association. Do. Yes, I, I remember her. She, well, she was like, a, she used to go up there. She started it. She used to go up there and they, they cleaned it up and they took and put, um, started putting um, vegetables and stuff in there. And um, she was giving it out in the neighborhood too. So oh. it was, yeah, she was. She was, and she was like that. She was a very nice lady. Well, um, I moved into the neighborhood and I'm from Kansas. So when I walked by and I saw all the Wizard of Oz stuff, I stopped. And I was like, what? I just kind of walked in and was like, what's going on here? And um, like me said, hi, this is the Brandy. McClary Wicked Friendship Garden. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, just started hanging out and everybody was so um, welcoming and it's such a cute little spot to sit and stuff. So yeah, uh, we, we consider ourselves a sister garden of Maggie's garden. So that's, we, we use the term sister garden because we're both owned by NYRP, right? Um, and we work as closely as we can with them on events. We often will jointly promote our Halloween and our uh, various activities that we do. We have a, we've often done a kids Christmas decorating day where we decorate the trees in our gardens, uh, our Christmas trees and our, our holiday decorations. Um, so we definitely work and Cherie could tell you a little bit more about the Hamilton uh, Heights Garden Coalition. What are we calling it now, Cherie? West Harlem Garden Group. Okay. There we go. Um, so yeah, with Emily, we organized um, in partnership with the New York, this New York Partnership for Parks. Um, they helped us as we put together this idea of a garden tour. And we did that in 2018. And um, we even got the Parks Department to donate a small bus so that we could get people around if they needed help walking. Um, and that was fun. So we had four different gardens participate from 143rd up to 152nd. And uh, it was a whole day event with, we were, had raffles at each of the gardens. Each garden got to give their own tour. Um, we served lemonade and yummy coffee. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so we also do potlucks with the gardeners um, in the winter time, just to kind of check in and see what people are doing the next year. And, Hopefully, with um, pandemic coming through, we can try and get back on track with that. But um, yeah, we all kind of stay in touch about like, oh, we're doing cleanup day, or we're doing some planting, and we can use some straw, or you know, whatever. Yeah, it takes. But, it's a great cross promote a way to cross promote what we're doing in the gardens in our area. Yeah, um, yeah. So you know, it, it's uh, it's been 
super helpful to just help support each other, other gardens in the area. You know, I think the most important thing is you see the people in these boxes are all friends and we became friends through the garden. So that, I think that is the overriding uh, thing that's so cool about our garden and our block. So. Mm -hmm.